That, of course, is playing out in another big story that we're watching. That's number three for us this morning. And that is the Transportation Security Administration, a.k.a. the TSA, will no longer be enforcing the federal mask mandate on public transportation. That's after a judge in Florida ruled over the C overruled, I should say, the CDC's uh, ruling mask mandate on Monday. Some flyers actually found out mid-flight they no longer needed to wear masks. Here's how it played out on one of those flights. And I just checked with the company, and the uh, company position is, the Delta position is, masks will be optional this evening for all crew and passengers as well. So it is cause to celebrate, but for those who want to wear masks, please feel free to. But it is <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's get real. I mean, it's a, so all of the airlines immediately came out and said, we're getting rid of our mask rules. The subway system in New York, here in New York City, is keeping its, yep. as are the other transportation authorities um, around the New York area. Philadelphia just reinstated a mask mandate. So it's interesting now you have the removal of these um, restrictions in some places or these rules in some places. But there's sort of this two-track thing going on now, Anjali. I don't even know if you can call it two-track. It's multi-track, and it's mm. very, very confusing. If you track what some of the health experts are saying right now, it's absolutely insanity, basically. So let's break down what happened, all right? Yesterday, we saw the federal judge come down with that ruling, saying, quote, it is indisputable that the public has a strong interest in combating the spread of COVID-19, but the mandate exceeded CDC's statutory authority. And that's according to Judge Catherine Kimball Mizal out in Florida. And so what happened after that? After that, the White House really didn't have a choice at the moment. In that moment, they did have to sort of agree to that. And they did say also um, in a quote to Yahoo Finance, saying specifically that the agencies are reviewing the decision and assessing potential next steps. So that means that it's not over, right? And continuing on, with. In the meantime, today's court decision means CDC's public transportation masking order is not in effect at this time. Therefore, TSA will not be enforcing its security directives and emergency amendments requiring mask use. CDC recommends still that people continue to wear masks indoor in public transportation. So they're, they're basically saying it's your choice right now, but we recommend that you still do. Okay. And so that right now is really confusing for the public because already there were people not following the rules or not wanting to follow the rules, right? So what has happened over the past two weeks? Let's recap. First, we knew that the, uh, the mask mandate was supposed to be, uh, was supposed to end yesterday, April 18th. It got extended until May 3rd. Then we have this ruling, the CDC basically coming out and having to acquiesce. And then we saw the airlines drop those mandates, but airports did not, mm. okay? So even though on the plane you can take it off, in the airport you still have to wear it in a majority of locations. We've been seeing reports of that on social media especially. And then we've also seen, like you mentioned, right, some cities are keeping it, some trains are keeping it, some transportation authorities are keeping it, and some are removing it. So it's a very, very mixed bag. It's very confusing. You're, you're basically on your own to check what the situation is. And I want to point out one thing. When we saw over in the UK some airlines drop their mask mandates on planes, they saw an uptick in cases among staff. Well, we talked about this last week. <laughs> this comes, uh, the overall cases are increasing. Now, Anjali, you've, you've talked uh, at length many times with Dr. Anthony, Anthony Fauci. What does he say? Is he still pro-mask? Is he on board? Yeah, we, when the last conversation we had, if you remember, he was talking about the uptick in cases being the key metric for extending the mask mandate for travel. So that is the concern right now. That's what officials are worried about. That's what health uh, experts are worried about. And we know now, especially with the idea that COVID is airborne, it's something that travels in the air, having your mask off in an enclosed space where circulation is questionable is not a really good idea. I mean, we're going to see that uptick in cases, and we can we can talk about this at length, right? I could I could we can debate back and forth, like you know, is it okay that you get COVID or not? Like, wh what are your you know what are the repercussions of that? How does it affect businesses and employers? But it's just basically a free for all at this point, yes. and that's the really really concerning part. People just seem to have decided they're going to take the risk at this point. Yeah. Most people have decided they're going to take the risk, in part I think because it has been so widespread that most people anecdotally know enough other people who have had it or have had it themselves without any serious repercussions that they say, well, but there's still people dying. I mean, let's not forget that. And let's not forget that death is not the only serious repercussion. Yes. Long COVID is as well. Other issues that get that are flared up because of getting COVID are also an issue. So it's just, 
It's very. Con I'm exhausted. Multi track. Multi -track. <laughs> I told multi -track. you, multi track. Just it's not two tracks. Multi tracks. <laughs> Anjali, thank you so much. Oh, it's great to see you in person here in the studio, yeah. also.